Growing up, I had two loving parents, lived in a thriving neighborhood, and went to a good school. Then things changed at the age of 12 when my father left the family on Christmas morning and my mother was arrested that summer. That's when me and my brothers had to leave everything behind and move to New York with my father and six other family members. Living in poverty, I knew that I needed to make money. So by the age of 16, I applied for jobs everywhere. McDonald's, Lids, even the airport, but still no one would hire me. It was demoralizing. Here I was, smart, eager, passionate, like everything you would want in a worker, and still no one would hire me. But then one day, when it was snowing, I saw friends shoveling snow and thought, I could easily do this. I started shoveling snow for neighbors and realized that I can make my own money, become self-sufficient, and create my own future path. So when I went to college, I wanted to become a corporate attorney. But then in my sophomore year, a racial incident occurred that caused tension among students and faculty. And I decided I want to do something about it and became an agent of change. That's when I found my passion for helping young people who look like me and face the same barriers that I faced. When I was 16 years old, I couldn't find a job, but now I have the opportunity to help young people turn their passion into the profession because if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. My name is Alex P.A. and I'm the founder, chief troublemaker, and co-lead for One's Up. Too often, growing up, we're fed these ideas of what we should aspire to be. So like many, I spent the majority of my youth playing a role, trying to fit a mold, knowing very little about life or who I was to become. I was carrying these ideas all the way through college. And I was making decisions based on who I thought I should be, even if it wasn't aligned with who I truly was. I could have never anticipated the events that were going to shape my life. Um, I was a pre-med student in my junior year of college when my mom passed away suddenly. By the time I got the call and made it to the hospital, she was already in a coma. I was 19 years old and I was her next of kin. So within a week, I was planning a funeral. And just a couple months later, my home was robbed before eventually being foreclosed on. At the time, I felt like I was losing everything. Like I didn't even have a place to call home. But as I grieved, I was granted the understanding that I had to find a home for myself within myself. And when everything fell apart, it gave me the courage to lean into my passions. I had a passion for service, a passion for seeing the talents in others, for helping people to overcome the barriers in their path. So I heard about the Peace Corps <laughs> and I decided to apply. I, I ended up being assigned to do community and organizational development in Moldova. Completely altered the trajectory of my life. I came back to Philly, committed to helping purpose-driven visionaries bring their ideas to life. No one could have charted that course for me. If you asked me what I wanted to be at 18 years old, I would have told you that I wanted to be a doctor. But my story was still writing itself. Everyone deserves an opportunity to create and recreate themselves, regardless of where they've been or the trauma they've endured. Young people especially deserve the space and the resources to become something that is aligned with their purpose and to be supported in that journey, regardless of where it takes them. This is how we build a future of capable, successful, committed adults. My name is Marsh and they call me the doctor, co-lead and head of strategy and execution at One's Up. What do young people need to turn their passion into the profession? And how do we create a space that gives them the resources, tools, and connections that turn that passion into the reality? One's Up answers those questions, and many times in ways where it's beyond measure, with the stories of people like Bree. 
Now, Brie is a truly caring individual. Since she was young, we've watched her learn, grow, navigate hardships, all with a giving spirit. She loves children, and she's always dreamt of owning her own daycare center. She would even speak of running a ones up daycare center to support all of the parents and young adults that came through our program. She's just always been a helper. So when she graduated high school, she was excited to work with City Year and to be placed in a school working with children. But being that the year was 2020, the experience was nothing like what she anticipated. Learning had gone virtual. The opportunities to interact with young people and build community were limited. And with so much uncertainty and no foreseeable way forward, she really wasn't sure what to do next. She struggled because she wasn't getting that experience she hoped for and was really considering doing something else. It was Brie and young people like her that inspired the Ones Up Fellowship. So through Ones Up, Brie was able to begin working with a local daycare center and got hands-on experience working under the Director of Operations at a four-star early learning center. She got to learn the ins and outs of operating a daycare and was eventually hired full-time. She even met with the Director of Early Childhood Initiatives for the City of Philadelphia, who gave her resources to obtain her child care certification for free. Now, Brie continues to work and develop her skills around early learning, and we're excited for what she'll do next. And One's Up is more than Brie and the fellowship. It's our community action team where we walk alongside Amari as he discovers his talent before entering into the working world. It's the projects our youth organize to help community members like Troy and Tone share their stories. And it's a safe space for our young people, their families, and our staff to decompress and build stronger relations with each other. Now, a person's growth is layered and complex. The same goes for an organization. Many of our young people have seen severe traumas. Some of them are exposed to it almost every day. Trauma has to be integrated, processed, for us to become our best selves. And our organization has seen its fair share of trauma. Everything from losing staff and youth to gun violence, to financial hardships and lack of resources. So we make it our job to create a work environment that facilitates healing and renewal. Being vulnerable, honest, and building authentic relations facilitates that healing and is a critical piece to everyone's journey. We all have experienced a level of healing to get where we are today. And through it all, someone believed in us, gave us a space for us to be ourselves, and taught us something new. That's what we do for our young people. They know that we're invested in their future, even if they haven't figured out yet. But they deserve opportunities that align with their passion, and we work hard to make that happen. One's Up exists to help young people level up to their greatest potential, shape up and show up as their best selves, and build their community. Level up, shape up, build up. That's, That's One's Up. up. <laughs>